Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. In this one, we're going to be loading a 1 and 1 quarter ounce, 2 and 3 quarter inch 20 gauge TSS load. This is 18 density TSS, and I have a helper today. Never mind, I guess he decided he wanted to go eat instead. But anyway, uh, jumping right into this, the components are very simple. We are using a brand new primed Fiocchi, and it just has a Fiocchi 616 primer in it. They come standard in most Fiocchi hulls. Some of them have mag primers, but this is a standard. Uh, we are using the TPS 2 and 3 quarter inch 20 gauge wad, which actually, if you look at it, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it is really just an LBC wad. It's just labeled as a, T a TPS, but what it really is is a LBC 20 gauge wad. If you don't know, LBC stands for low bore contact. These wads have uh, ribs on them. I'm trying my best to show you, but they have ribs on them, which uh, only the ribs contact the bore. That's why it's called the low bore contact. But anyway, yeah, we are using four, maybe five, 28 gauge, one eighth inch felt cushion wads. Some ballistic products, ITX buffer. If you want to use buffer, the data doesn't call for it, but it's such low PSI that adding buffer, I feel like, won't hurt it at all. It can only help it. Yep. ITX buffer is designed for non-toxic shot. The powder we're using is one of my favorites, Hodgdon Little Gun. This stuff is an excellent powder for all gauges, especially if you're like me and like ridiculously heavy loads in the larger gauges, like well past normal loads. Um... Other than that, that's that's about it, guys. It's a real simple load. So to start this off, I'm going to slit the wad. This wad is actually unslit. I'm using Gary Kasky's four-pedal adjustable 20-gauge wad slitter. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever used it on camera. Um, I don't really load a whole lot of 20-gauge. But yeah, this is adjustable, four pedals. I have it set to do a, hopefully, three-quarter cut. Like I said, I don't recall ever using this before. But uh, yeah, these are adjustable. All you do is turn this brass dial, loosen it or tighten it, and that raises or lowers your blades, depending on uh, what slit depth you want. But anyway, let's see. Line that up between the two uh, ribs and push straight down. And it's just that easy, guys. Four pedals, and yep, looks like we got it. Three-quarter cut. I guessed right. Oh, yeah. That one works awesome just like his other wad slitters do nice perfectly even pedals already a fan of it if you guys want any of gary's tools he doesn't just make these he makes wad tampers haul trimmers wad trimmers and obviously wad slitters among some other stuff but facebook.com slash gary dot d dot caskey c-a-s-k-e-y just uh tell him we sent you and uh i'm sure you'll be happy with gary's uh tools but anyway moving on we need 28 grains of little gun this is going to get you roughly 1100 fps and about 8000 psi the data calls for 27 and a half grains and 1056 fps at 7500 psi i'm bumping it up half a grain to get closer to 1100 and uh, about 8000 psi so once again 28 grains of little gun says 28 right there that was quick double check it as always yep we have 28 grains that was easy can't really ask for easier than that but get your wad in we're going to seat that with another one of gary's tools this is one of his wad tampers i mentioned earlier he calls them nudgers but we now have the wad in place the data calls for five of these 28 gauge eighth inch felt cushion wads but uh I checked it before I started loading this, and it looks like four is actually all you need. Because with four in it, the wad held exactly ounce and a quarter of a TSS 18 density shot. So I'm going to try four, and if it doesn't work inside the shell, well, then I'll just add a fifth one. But you guys just stay tuned for that, and I'll let you know. All right, I've got four of those 28 gauge, one eighth inch felt wads in here. Let's add ounce and a quarter of TSS. This is number nine. Maybe you can hear that cat meowing back there, but we're at 1.15 and we are very close to the top of the wad. 
All right, 1.23. I'll stop at 1.23 because I do want to add a little bit of buffer. And as you can see, hopefully, we are right to the top of the wad. The fifth one would put us over, it would overstack the wad. And we don't want that, especially not with TSS or steel. So again, we're at 1.23 ounces, which is just shy of ounce and a quarter. We're going to take three quarter of a Lee 2.2 CC dipper, maybe seven eighth worth of uh, ITX buffer, dump that right in there, and tap that down. And it looks like that roughly three quarter scoop of the Lee 2.2 CC dipper worth of buffer was exactly what you needed. It is flush with the top row of pellets and everything is still just under flush with that wad. Now we are ready to crimp this, going with a six point, which is the front station of the Lee load all. You gotta be careful with these uh, 20 gauge ones. They seem to just have a 16 gauge pre-crimp, both the front and back one. And if you put too much pressure, then it'll, uh, it'll roll out the uh, crimp. The pre-crimp, it'll actually push it out a little bit, which uh, makes ugly crimps. But we don't want that. Let's try to go a little bit more. I'm not sure why Lee does that. Why we'll not just make a true 20 gauge pre-crimp? Doesn't make sense to me. Forgot to mention guys, the uh, data calls for an overshot. I went to crimp that and it caved in just a little bit. The data does call for an overshot card. And I can tell you right now, it looks way better now. Actually, that looks really good. Slot correction from earlier. The data lists this at 27 and a half grains. I use 28. The listed PSI is 7,900, so pretty low. And the speed is listed at velocity, 1058 FPS, that's pretty low. The max powder charge for this load is 37 grains, and that will get you 11,300 PSI at 1,336 FPS. Now, that is a lot of speed for TSS 18 density shot. 1,100 FPS is more than enough to get the job done at even 50 yards. So what I've done is I use 28 grains to get hopefully 1100 FPS. It may still be a touch shy of it. I hear an ambulance if you guys hear that, but uh, yeah. And I added some buffer. It might be 8500 PSI, maybe closer to 9000 now, but in theory it should be running right at 1100 FPS. If you guys wanna see us pattern that load, I'm sorry, uh, we don't have a 20 gauge that is set up to shoot TSS right now. I just have a fixed full single shot and nah, I want something with a little bit tighter choke than that for TSS shot, hunting turkeys obviously. For hunting waterfowl, sure. But uh, yeah, Josh has a Noble. Again, it's just fixed full. It's really old too, made in the 60s. And uh, his dad has an 88, but just a modified choke for it. We don't have a 20 gauge that's really set up for uh, shooting TSS as turkey style loads. That being said, I'm highly confident this load will be a great one out of a proper choke. Now if I was going for a waterfowl load, I'd feel just fine using my fixed full choke single shot and maybe some number 7 or 6.5 TSS, uh, roughly 1 and 1 quarter ounce payload. That should be just fine. I'd feel like that was a pretty solid waterfowl load. You guys let me know. But that right there, I feel like is a great looking shell. Nothing wrong with it at all. The crimp is pretty deep set. It's even, it's not caved in. There's no pinhole. It's just a great looking shell. It's not buckled anywhere, bolting out nowhere. Can't really ask for better than that, especially off of Lee Lodol. You guys know they're not the best press. I know that, but they work and they work great for me. Would you believe me if I told you that I could reload an entire shell, like depriming, resizing it all, in under 10 seconds on one of these? Because I can. I just depress, drops powder, and shot for you. I don't have this one set up to do that, but obviously you can reload shells pretty quick on this press, as you can a mech or a Ponsmith Warren. But yeah, it's not slow. People say these presses are really slow. They're not. You can load a lot of shells real quick on a reload all. I'm sure at some point down the line, we'll get a 20 gauge set up to shoot some TSS turkey loads. We'll probably just end up picking up a uh, 
kicks choke for his dad's Maverick 88, and stick with that. Maverick 88's a good gun, guys. But anyway, we want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you. And if you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month, and you guys get early access to content. A link to that, as well as a link to our Instagram and Rumble accounts, will be in the description below. But other than that, you guys take it easy, and we'll see you in the next one.